Hello, and welcome back to the University of Life. In this episode, I want to talk a little bit more about what I do, um, as it's come up in conversation a few times this week. And I think it's interesting how misunderstood the life coaching space can be, and really how simple it all is. Um, I've kind of come to describe what I do as essentially helping people make better decisions. And and it's pretty simple, isn't it? I help people make better decisions. But when you boil it down, I think we all know how life can change dramatically in a decision or two. And the degree at which we optimize those decisions has an incredible impact in our life. You know, we make a bad decision and wow, it's like stakes and ladders. <laughs> And at the same time, if we make one or two good decisions, it is incredible how life opens up and how things, things can get so much easier and better so quickly. So in listening to this episode, what I really want to share with you is how important decisions are. And in talking into the importance of making decisions and the value that comes from making decisions. I also want to talk about how impacting indecision can be, how negatively impacting not making decisions can be. And it's a funny thing, but I think if we, if we zoom in and we kind of think to ourselves of a time when we've had to make a, a, a challenging decision, I think we can all recognize how, how sometimes those tough decisions are really overwhelming. Like they, ooh, they pull out of us. And I find it, kind of find that there's always this magical moment around any time you've been called to make a decision. It's let's say the first 10, 15 minutes where you can go one way or the other. But a funny thing happens and I, I'm sorry, and at that moment, in that kind of 15 minute, minute window, you, you see things quite clearly. It can be a lot, it can feel a lot, but you see things quite clearly. What I found in indecision is really, really interesting. Let's say after that 15 minute window, our minds start to get overwhelmed. And it becomes hard to make a decision. And so this idea of, do you know what, I'll give it a night, I'll sleep on it, comes up. Here's the really, really interesting thing. For every day that we don't make a decision, we are said to be 50% like, less likely to make a decision altogether. So indecision paralyzes decision making. Now that's, that's, let's say, in the basics of it. What I've found is really interesting for me in these times of indecision, though, is how when I'm call to make a decision and I can go one way or the other and I don't and I pull back and I say, do you know what, I'm going to take some time on this. The more I consider that decision, the more options start to present themselves. And I kind of find this happens and this almost multiplies and it's never really a good thing. Instead of it being like, oh, there's another option I could choose or Oof, why didn't I think of that? actually all the options start to overwhelm all the more. And as this process continues day by day, this space for progress, let's say, this space for a decision to be made and to move forward, becomes lost. And this overwhelm kicks in. And this indecision bouncing from one idea to another, to one possible decision to another, becomes so much, too much, I kind of find myself retreating. And I wanted to share this because I'm sure it's not just me. I'm sure if you're listening on, you've had moments like this. And what I wanted to call or, or hopefully inspire in you is this, this proactiveness with regards to decision making. I've read so many times over in so many different self-help and well-being and personal development books that a bad decision 
is better than indecision because at least in a bad decision, you commit yourself to a certain path. You'll take learnings from that path. Those learnings will be formative and they will push you on your way to progress eventually. But with indecision, you don't get that. From what I've kind of just shared there, indecision, unfortunately, just brings overwhelm. And yeah, it weighs on top of you. It weighs heavy on you. I kind of feel that the whole overall mantra around personal development and growth is to become light, to be able to flow with ease. So we've kind of carved into indecision, brings overwhelm, brings heaviness, and just really paralyzes progress. When it comes to a decision, I hope that last point really sunk in, that a bad decision will push you on a certain course, that will present learnings, present experience, and that will all ultimately complement you on your way as you progress. It will complement your being because it, yeah, it pushes you along. It opens up experience. It allows for growth. And a good decision, or the one that we're all going for all the time, well, that's great. That's brilliant. That breeds progress. So when it comes down to what I do with people, it is such a joy to help them make better decisions. But in the most elementary of basic states, it is to actually just help people make decisions. I think a lot of people, there's a frustration that comes from feeling stuck. And if we, we look at you know, people being stuck, it's not too far away from indecision. You, know, you could say, oh, I'm stuck. And when you look down, there's a whole load of decisions not being made. And they're not being made, generally speaking, with the, with the best of intentions. People really want to be good. People really want to make good decisions. People really want the, the best outcome. But in pursuing that, life gets on top of them. They stall. Things slow down and they become stuck. So in sharing this podcast today, really what I'm trying to do is to help whoever might be listening get a little bit unstuck in an area. Help you make decisions and help reduce the fear of perhaps getting a decision wrong with the knowing that even if you do get it wrong it's still going to compliment you on your way i was deep diving in on habits of billionaires over the week and one of the ones i really really liked is that they make decisions fast with this as a core knowing And so in listening to this episode right now, I'd love you to take a moment for wherever you are, close your eyes, take a slow breath in, hold it in and then let it out slowly and feel into yourself, feel into any areas where perhaps you've gotten a bit stuck, where perhaps There was a decision to be made, but God, it might have been so long ago that you've perhaps even forgotten it. And what you're left with is this feeling of stuck, but perhaps a lack of clarity on on why you got stuck. And so what what I want you to do is I want you to call up, where are there areas in your life right now that you could make decisions? And I'd invite you to put whatever fears might come up from making a decision, push them aside. With this idea, this knowing that regardless of whether you make a bad decision or a good one, either way, it's ultimately going to serve you. And so this is a call to find areas in your life where you can make decisions. And mentally, or if you have a pen and paper, please jot them down. What are the areas that you can make some decisions in your life right now? However small or big they are, I'd invite you to think of small ones. For me, it's lovely to build a little bit of momentum. There is this kind of inner desire we all have when circumstances are a little bit stuck or we're perhaps playing catch up or we want to make big decisions. 
But those big decisions can be pretty overwhelming. I'm a big believer in finding small areas of growth, building a little bit of momentum, building confidence and progressing from there. So for yourself right now, I would invite you to feel into some decisions that you could make right now that will compliment you on your way. You might not know where it is that you're going, but you know that in making these decisions, it will compliment you that little bit better today and set you up to be that bit better off tomorrow. And no doubt that positive impact is going to set you off on a more positive trajectory from here. And that's all we're looking for. Small little wins for now that will ultimately grow into bigger ones. It could be as simple as a food that you've been eating that you know doesn't serve you. You're going to cut that, cut that out. It could be a desire to go for a walk in the mornings or in the evenings before you go to bed that you have wanted to do for some time, but you just haven't made time for. And it's a decision now to make time for that. Or it could be a conversation with somebody that has been sitting in your mind over the last while. You know you should, but you just haven't for some reason. And it might be a decision now to pick up the phone to have that overdue conversation. Or it could be a call to give somebody in your life a little bit more space or do something for them. Whatever it might be and whatever comes up, I would ask you not to judge it too much, but just to Accept that this decision has come up for you right now. This space, this area of your life for a little bit of attention. I, want, I would call upon you now over the next 10 minutes ahead after this episode to just take some time to make some decisions on those areas of your life. And to pay an attentive eye to what will flow from this action. And in a couple of weeks time to look at the impact of this decision and how it's, how it's complemented you versus perhaps the impact of indecision in this area and what that was like. I am a massive believer that we have all the wisdom we need within us and in our life experience. And I'm this massive believer in taking time out to look at certain decisions we made, see how they add up, see how they've impacted, see what wisdom we can take, and look at other areas of our life. And in this case, look at times of indecision and see how that has Im impacted us, what perhaps was missed. So in, this 10 minutes, in these 10 minutes ahead, I'd invite you to, as I said, take some action. And then in the time ahead from there, reflect on the impact. See how it serves you and please do reach out. Let me know how, it, how things add up for you. And I'll look forward to sharing again soon. Thank you for listening.